Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that I had victory over depression, over anxiety, and over worry. I thank you, Lord God, that your word reminds us in Psalm 34 and 17 and 18 that the righteous cry out and you hear and deliver them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. We thank you for your word today. It reminds us that Jesus says in Matthew, Matthew 11, 28, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I thank you that, Father, we come today knowing that we can cast our cares upon you because you care for us, according to 1 Peter 5 and 7. We thank you today, Lord, that your word reminds us in Isaiah 41 and 10 that we are to fear not because you are with us. We are not dismayed because you are our God. You said you would strengthen us. You would help us. And yes, you would hold us up with your right hand of righteousness. God, we thank you today that you are with us, that you never leave nor forsake us, that you know the thoughts that you think toward us, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give us an expected end, as it is written in Jeremiah 29 and 11. We thank you, Lord, that we trust in you with all of our heart, and we do not lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, we acknowledge you and you direct our path. It is written in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Father, I thank you for sound minds today, for peace of mind today, for spiritual minds today. I thank you that we have the mind of Christ today. I thank you that we're not depressed or fearful or worried or anxietous. I thank you, Lord, that your word reminds us in Psalms 30, verse 5, for your anger endures but a moment. In your favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So, Father, we thank you today, Lord, God. Hallelujah that we can call on you. According to Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, we thank you that we are careful for nothing. We are anxious about nothing. We are worried about nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we let our requests be made known unto you, God. And we thank you that the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. We just rejoice today that we are not consumed with fear, with worry, or anxiety. According to your word, God, we thank you in 2 Timothy 1 and 7 that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So we thank you, God, that yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for you are with us, your rod and your staff, they comfort us according to Psalm 23 and 4. I thank you, God, that heaviness in the heart of man makes it stoop, but a good word makes it glad, according to Proverbs 12 and 25. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you for your promises and your principles. We thank you, Lord God, that you look over your word to perform it, that your word will not return unto you void, but will accomplish that which pleases you and prosper in that which you sent it. So as we meditate on your word day and night, I thank you that we're like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I thank you that our leaf will not wither. I thank you that we bear fruit in this season and whatever we do, Lord God, we thank you it prospers. It's according to Psalm chapter 1. And so Father, we thank you today, Lord God, according to Psalm 9 and 9, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. We thank you that we're reminded in Psalm 46 and 1, God, that you are a very present help in the time of trouble. God, thank Thank you for being there. Thank you for never leaving nor forsaking us. Thank you, Lord God, for being our refuge. Thank you for being our stronghold, our strong tower. Thank you, Lord God, for being our everything. We look to you, Lord God, and we thank you that you wipe all of our tears, that you, Lord God, continue to go before us, that you, Lord God, bless us in our walk. You order our steps in your word. I thank you that we're hearers and not only doers. I thank you that we're not worried or stressed out, but our mind is stayed on you. I 
I thank you that we pray about everything. I thank you we cast our cares on you because you care for us. I thank you, Lord God, that we cast our burdens on you and you sustain us. I thank you it's your word and we're standing on it. So, Father, I thank you, Lord God, today that we have the mind of Christ and we think on things above and not on earth. I thank you that we have spiritual minds. The word says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And so, Father, thank you, Lord God, for renewed minds. Thank you, Lord God, for a heart of flesh in place of our stony heart. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy and your grace for your son and your Holy Spirit. We rejoice today because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So Father, I thank you. No more anxiety or worry. No more fear, Lord God. I thank you. It's just that we walk by faith and I thank you, Lord God, that we walk in love and we walk in forgiveness and we walk in your word and we stand on your truth and we abide in Christ and your word dwells in us richly. And I thank you, Lord God, that we walk in peace and we're peacemakers. I thank you, Lord God, that our eyes are stayed on Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. I thank you that we believe, Lord God, because you've given us a measure of faith. And we take that allotted faith and we speak to mountains and it moves. I thank you, Lord God, mustard seed faith is moving some things even now as we're praying. So, Father, thank you, Lord God, for the allotted faith. Thank you, Lord God, for equipping us with spiritual armor and spiritual weapons and every spiritual blessing that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. That we are overcomers because of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. It is written in Philippians 4 and 13. So we're not worried about anything, anxious about anything, because we know, Lord God, it is written in Philippians 4 and 19 that you shall supply all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. It is written in Matthew 6 and 33, to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. It is written and we're standing on your word. So, Father, I thank you today that you are Jehovah Rapha, our healer, that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, that you are Jehovah Shalom, our peace, that you are Jehovah Shama, you are there. I thank you, Lord God, that you are faithful even when we have not been. So, Father, as we trust in you, the only constant in our life, the immutable God who is unchangeable and unchanging. Father, as we stand, Lord God, and abide in Christ, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, as we stand on your word that will never perish. I thank you, Lord God, that we are steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing the work of the Lord is not in vain. So thank you, Lord God, for pouring into us. Thank you for peace, Lord God. Thank you for comfort. Thank you for strength. Thank you for purpose. Thank you for guiding us and thank you for leading us. Thank you for never leaving us, never forsaking us. Thank you, Lord God, for making us strong and courageous. Thank you, Lord God, for helping us to keep our minds stayed on you. Help us, Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we meditate on your word, that your Holy Spirit our teacher would uh, bring to our remembrance that which we've learned and we've heard. Open up our understanding and give us revelation knowledge. And so, Father, we thank you that we're without excuse. You've given us everything we need. We're your workmanship, your masterpiece, recreated in Christ Jesus unto good work. So thank you. There's a purpose for our life. Thank you that you're working and moving in it. Thank you for being the potter and we the clay on the wheel in your hands. Mold us, shape us, and conform us into the image of your son. We love you and we praise you. We honor you and we thank you God for all that you've done we thank you for what you're doing at this present time and we praise you in advance for what you're about to do in the mighty matchless powerful name of Jesus we pray and we say hallelujah and amen